In this video, we are going to deploy this smart contract to a test network. But before we do that, I need to make a small adjustment. So as I was building the front end, I realized that this event does not have enough arguments for us to be able to index the smart contract using the graph protocol. So I actually have to add another argument and it's gonna be the, the from address so address from and it's the address from which the nft was transferred um as you can see we have a bunch of errors here we need to add the from argument in all these emits so let's start with this one and uh the from here is going to be address zero because the nft was just created uh list nft um the to is the address of the contract and the from is the message.sender. So it was transferred from the owner, which is the message.sender, to the contract, which is address this. By NFT, the, f uh, the to is the message.sender, which is the buyer, and the from is the address of the contract. So it was transferred from the contract to the message sender. To address this, um, cancel listing. The to is the message sender, and the from is the address of the contract. Now that we modified the contract, we need to modify the tests. Let's start by the create NFT tests. So expect args dot from to equal ethers dot constants dot address zero um, the list nft expect args dot from to equal signers zero, zero dot address by nft expect args dot from to equal the nft market address so nft market dot address cancel listing it should be the same from equals nft market dot address and i guess that's all we need to do let's run npx hard hat test and all the tests are passing now it's time to deploy the smart contract to a test network. I'm going to choose um, Rinkby and I will be using Infura to, to deploy it. So go to infura.io, create your account, log in, and go to the slash dashboard page. You should be able to do that without my instructions. Now create new project. Uh, select Ethereum and enter a project name. I'm going to call it NFG Marketplace. And um, here choose Rinkby and copy the endpoint. And go to the .env file. If you don't have one, just create it and add a new environment variable. Let's call it uh, Rink. Uh, rigby URL and pass in the URL. Now we are going to use this URL in the hardhat config.ts. So um, we're going to replace the Robson URL here with the rinkbay URL. So let's do const rinkbay URL equals process.env.rinkbay URL. And let's use it here, so URL, ring B URL. To make sure uh, the environment variable are passed in to the, to the script, let's go to the deploy.ts inside the scripts folder. Let's delete everything in the main function. And let's just do like console.log tests. And let's now go to the hardhat config.ts and console.log the rinkb url 
and let's run the deploy script so npx hardhat run script slash deploy dot ts so the ring b rel is undefined uh, that means the environment variables are not being passed in so to solve this problem let's install a the dot env package so yarn add dot env and we can simply import dot env slash config rerun the scripts and the um, rigby URL is passed in. Now that we got that fixed, we also need a private key. Um, so to do that, you can create a new MetaMask account. This is a development account. Uh, I don't care about it. So I'm just going to expose the private key here. So account details, export private key, enter your MetaMask password, and here, here is the private key. We can just copy it and pass it. Let's do it here. So private key equals this. Now you never want to expose your private key like this. If it's a real account and you have assets in it, never do this. But um, since this is a development account, I'm just gonna throw it away once I finish. It's okay if I expose it like this. Um, so let's go to the hot hat config and do const private. Let's just copy this. Private key equals this. And the accounts will be an array of private keys. So let's just do this. This should be string. Now that we added the required configuration, let's actually go and deploy the the contract here. Um, we are going to use the same code that we use here in the test. So I'm just going to copy this, pass it here. Mm. We will need the to keep track of the NFT market address. So let's cancel that log. Um, so deployed to NFT market address. Now to deploy this contract, run npx hardhat run script slash deploy dot ts and we need to specify a network and the network will be the oh this has to be ring b so the network will match the key in the json here so let's do ring b and i actually forgot that this is a transaction that will cost you eth so you need some eth in your wallet the wallet with this private key in order to uh, deploy the contract now i already have some eth in this dev account but i'm going to show you how to do it just google ring b faucet and you can choose any faucet you want um, let's go for this one you can just enter your wallet address send me eth and you can wait a little and you will have your ETH in your wallet. So yeah, just Google Ring B faucet, use any faucet you want and get yourself some ETH. And then go back to the console here and run the command. It's gonna take some time. And boom, it is deployed to this address here. Copy it and go to the .n file and save it there. So this was it. I think this is the last time we are going to touch Solidity or Hard Hat for that matter. In the next videos, we'll start working on the front end and using the graph protocol to index the smart contract. So stay tuned.